Hey everyone, it's Ava, and today I'll be showing you my makeup collection. Um, I'm just going to say that I do have quite a lot of high-end makeup, and I just want to say that I'm not trying to brag or show off in any way, shape, or form. I just, I'm just like a collector, I suppose you could say. Um, I really love makeup, and yeah. So I just want to let you guys know that I'm not, gonna, that I'm not trying to brag or anything like that. And I store all my makeup in the Alex Nine drawers like some YouTubers do. So I'm going to show you guys what's on top of my Alex Nine drawers and then I'm going to get into what's inside the drawers. So I'm going to start from the very back. So back here, I have all my makeup brushes. And this right here was a DIY that I did. I emptied out a candle jar and I covered it in this really cute like sparkly card. And I just popped a bow around it. I thought it was really cute. So, yeah, that's that. So, I'm going to go through the makeup brushes that I have now. Oops, sorry. I'm, like, really shaking the camera today, sorry. Okay, so the first brush that I have, which I actually really like, this is the MAC 169 brush, and it's perfect for contour, highlight, or blush. So, it's basically three in one, and, like, the brush itself is really pretty. I mainly use it for... Um, blush but yeah I'm only going to go through a few of them now on my favorite I'm just going to do my favorite ones this is all this is the Mac 239 it's just a flat shader brush and it is really really nice it's just perfect for packing on the color onto the lid so I really like this one my absolute favorite is hiding somewhere here. It's, it is the MAC 217. Everybody has been raving on about this, and I was like, what's the big deal about it? It's a brush. But you guys, this is not just any brush. This is an amazing brush. Like, oh my goodness. It's perfect for blending and everything. It's just perfect. I love this. I also have two Lancome brushes. This is a Lancome brush right here, and... It's just a powder brush. <laughs> I have another one right here. It's like a little kind of blush brush. Let's right, say I really like the handles of them as well. I think they're really pretty. I also have the Real Techniques powder brush. I'm just gonna show you guys inside here now. Um, Sarah Ashton kind of. I don't know what you call these brushes. Like, I I, I use this for my eyebrows. So I like to call it the eyebrow brush. <laughs> another kind of. Fluffy brush. Um, oh, but right here we have the Real Techniques setting brush. I have the Sarah Ashton fan brush, which I really like to use for highlights. Um, Real Techniques extra face brush. So that's basically about it. Inside this little Starbucks um, cup, I didn't actually use this before. I asked someone in Starbucks could I have a tall cup and then when I brought when I brought it home I just wrote makeup like a load of kind of brands like Maybelline New York, Urban Decay, Pink, um, Baby Lips from London, MAC. It's like all those type of stuff. <laughs> it's kind of to fade now so I don't know if you, yeah you guys can still see it but it's kind of fading now because I did have a very faint marker. So these Inside here, basically all of my lip products that are drugstore. I don't already have many. I have the Seventeen Lip Luster, and honestly, you guys, I do not like this at all. You can feel chump, chumps, chunks of glitter uh, in, on your lips, and I really don't like it. So I wouldn't really, I wouldn't recommend this product. If you're looking for, a, and then if you're looking like for a really like bold pink lip, I would highly recommend this product. They still actually sell it. Is the seven? Sorry, it's the Maybelline New York Color Sensation Shine Gloss, and it's a really nice pinky color. And this is in the shade number one hundred and fifty Pink Shock. It's not really focusing. One fifty. It looks like one hundred and sixty, but there anyway, it's one hundred fifty Pink Shock. And the Essence Marble Mania. These they do not sell this anymore because I got it quite a while ago. And. I also have the Barium Limited Edition Lip Gloss, which is upside down, but anyways. So you can't get that anymore either because it was limited edition. Ooh. Inside here then, oops, that's going to fall. <laughs> Inside here then, I have my Beauty Blenders. I only have two. It's 
this is the kind of jar I've woven pennies out of your techniques. Beauty blender. <laughs> okay. So I then have the um what do I call this? <laughs> the Marc Jacobs Daisy Dream and it smells amazing. I love it. I'm going to the, going to go through the perfume first. I have the Tommy Hilfiger Tommy Girl and the One Direction Arm Moment. In between then I have the Benefit Cozy Balm. Rose gold packaging. Oh my god, I love it. And also the Posy Tint, which I love to use for blush. I think it's really good. Um, I also have the Benefit um Benny Balm and the Benefit Benny Tint. These came inside a set. Oops. The Posy Balm and the Posy Tint and the Benny Balm and the Benny Tint. They all came in a set. On top of that all, I have the MAC Creme Sheer Lipstick in the shade Creme Cup. And it's just a really beautiful shade. And to hold everything up there, I have the Tanya Burr um, Love Tanya book. It is actually amazing. You have, like, um, her childhood inside here. You have makeup tips. You have hair tips. You have everything inside this book. And I would highly recommend it. I then have the number seven mirror that this actually turns on. So, really good. <laughs> okay, so because we have spent about six minutes on this category, we are now going to get into the first drawer. So, I store all my makeup inside these little containers right here. I got these from Heaton's and they were like really cheap, so that's really good. But you can also take, them, take like, the screen thing if you want to do as well. So, for foundation, I have the Benefits of Kind of Gorgeous. Right here. I have the Benefit Huda Bronzer, the Catrice Multicolored Blush in the shade Strawberry Cappuccino, the 17 Instant Glow Highlighter in the shade Pink Gold. No, sorry, pink bronze. Sorry. And the Rimmel London Stay Mash Long Last Impress Powder in the shades um, Warm Beige. That's what I have right there. For another highlight, I have the Benefit High Beam, which I was actually in love with this. But then when I got the 17 Instant Gel, I really like this as well. My absolutely holy grail is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Fair Neutral. You do want, if you're getting this online, you want to make sure that you do know your shade because some of these shades are quite orangey, so you do want to be careful when you're buying online. Then I have the Benefit of WhatsApp. I don't use this very often. I have to try and use that again because I don't really use it that often. I have the Benefit Pores Professionals and the Maybelline New York Dream Fresh BB Cream in the shade Light. And the Benefit Bigger Than BB Big Easy BB Cream <laughs> in the shade Fair. Inside here then, I have all samples and to be honest, these are all high-end. So I have the Bigger Than BB, BB Easy, um, in the shade Fair. And then I have one in the shade Light, I think. Yeah, no, I, they're all in Fair, but then there's one that's in the shade Light. I have four MAC samples right here. So this foundation sample, which this is the um, Studio Waterweight in the shade NW25. Let me try these. This is in the Fix in the shade NC13. This one doesn't have a shade, but I wore this to my confirmation. And also the primer, which does, you know, put a sticky thing on. I then have my... Benefit Hello Flawless Extra Wow in the shade Believe Me Ivory. I have Da Vinci down here and also a Benefit Radiant Cream or something like that. I have the Chanel um, Perfection Illuminator. I have the Bobbi Brown in the shade Sand, I think. Yeah, Sand. Something. And the Clarence in the shade number 104 Cream. I have the Dior foundation, don't know what shade. I have the Bare Minnows in the shade of the Oops. And I also have the Rim Decay in I don't know what shade because they don't put on the shade, which is super annoying. So that is the first drawer. My second drawer is my eyes drawer. Um, this is quite 
jam packed. It's very busy inside here. So I have since so gonna go through the palettes first. I have the Urban Decay Naked Basics. I have the MAC Enchanted Eve palette. I have the Too Faced Chocolate Bar. I have and I also have the Naked 3 by Urban Decay. So I have all those there. Um back here then I have the Urban Decay primer potions that came with the Naked 3. Oops. Which is back. Um and just comes with different types. So you have original Eden Sin and Anti-Aging. I also have the Colors by Technic Complete Makeup Artist Palette. <laughs> so that and then I have some three yeah, three Technic eyeshadows back here. It's like um all reds basically. So then back here then I have the beauty box so eyeshadow palette thing. I also have the mud eye color in the shade pink illusion. I have some technical palettes right here. Which you actually can't get them, so that's why I'm not showing them because you can't really get them anymore. I have the Maybelline New York color tattoo in the shade number 65 pink colors. I have this one, which is Distrust Us, which is from Pennies. I don't use it because it's very light, this one, and I have a color tattoo. I also have the SLA Paris in the shade Texture Miracle. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and I inside this little container here, I have a bunch of mascaras, eyeliners, primer, and everything. So I have the Urban Decay Prime Potion in the shade Original. I have the Benefit Roll Lash. Which is amazing. The benefit their real push up liner, which is absolutely this is terrible. It doesn't even go on your eyes, so I would not recommend this product. I have the um Urban Decay 24-7 Light on Pencil in the shade LSD. The MAC oh no, sorry. The MAC one's over here. And this is the Catrice Long Lasting Waterproof Eye Pencil in shade black. Beauty box. I um sorry. A beauty box black eyeliner. There we have mascara. Mac um eyeliner and shade smelling. Patrice um Soap and glory. They're all in the shade black anyways. The Mac Bolt Black Extreme Black and the Wonderful Wonderful Mascara. That's all that's inside this drawer. Inside here is my last drawer. It's my lip drawer. And so back here I have tissues. This isn't fully finished because I did only just make room for everything like a couple of weeks ago. So that's why it's looking very empty. So I have these tissues. Um, I have these from Kenneth, which I haven't tried it yet. So I need to try this out. I think I tried it one and it was actually really good. And so this uh, pouch right here, which my friend got me from Italy. Um, I have these pennies, um, lip glosses, which are really good. I have a few Claire's ones as well, and an Elizabeth Arden one inside there somewhere as well. Inside here, then, inside this little container, um, I have the Urban Decay Naked um, lip gloss in the shade Naked. I have the um, Benefit Hula lip gloss. By the way, guys, these are all my high end. Oh no, this is the Elizabeth Arden one right here. In the shade Sunset, so beautiful. It smells really nice as well. The Clinique um, Super Balm Moisturizing Gloss. Um, the two beauty box ones which don't have shades. Clarence in the shade number 16. And the Too Faced Melted Lips, um, Liquid Lipstick in the shade Melted Peony. Inside here, which are from Home Store More, this contains acrylic containers from Home Store More. I have all my baby lips. So I have Cherry Me. Um, this is from the Doctor Rescue. This is Coral Craze. Hydration. And then back, back, to, the, back to the original. Um, I have Hydration, Peach Kiss, <laughs> Pink Punch, and from the Electro's Eye Pink Drop. And I also have an EOS right here um, in the shade Strawberry, no, sorry, um, Summer Fruits. And I have a Pomegranate ros Rosberry, Raspberry, <laughs> which is downstairs in my house. And also the, what's it called? S strawberry Sorbet, Sorbet? I think, which is also downstairs, so, <laughs> no. <clears throat> so, that completes it for this 
video you guys that is my makeup collection i inside my other alex nine drawers is just like hair tools and nail polish and stuff like that but if you guys do want to see my entire alex nine drawers tour like the rest let me know in the comments and i'll be sure to do that and i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you in my next and don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and i'll see you in my next video bye guys